Hello and good evening. Wherever we are today, wherever we are, this is I, Sharon, soul alchemist. I hope you can hear me. I hope that there is somewhere. Let's see who is here. Oh, Mel, right on time. Here we go. I'm sorry, I had some technical support. You see these white lines of light? I'm not sure what it is. Hey, Ash, hello. Hello, Penny. Hello, Julia. Hello, Robin. Loud and clear. Bring it on. That's it. Well, I hope that everyone are Kiora. Just do a second for greeting and meeting and yeah. So what can I say? It's been really, can someone explain those light to me? Because I really, it's not even the things, but it is what it is. Well, I'm just using my, hi Jennifer, no Byron, no Frenga. How is my hair so perfect? Trust me, it wasn't a few minutes ago. So I feel that this is the first time that I'm surfacing after being in a really, 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 really shitty place. It's been really down, really horrible. That is the absolute truth. Um, Julia, the answer to the hair is this. I freaking jumped to the water when I came from my Buddha tour and my hair was like here probably. And then I said, nah, you can't. So anyway, so today I decided to, hi Julian. Today I've actually decided to transform my energy um, after crying in bed for a few hours yesterday. Um, hello, Sandra. And thank you for everyone for, no, Sandra, you don't want to be part of the live. No, you don't. I'm impressed that you're still awake. Some of you, you have no idea, like some of you send me some messages and text and to see how I am and notice that I don't post as much because I couldn't, I actually couldn't post anything. I was beyond, um, beyond exhausted, beyond death. If I could, a part of me actually died and um, it was pretty hard, pretty, pretty, pretty hard. And um, Considering that we are letting go of the old and we are coming back to the new, it was all about um, strengthening and supporting the spirit within. Remember how we spoke two days ago, for those of you who had a, a chance to look or to listen, we spoke about um, the spirit rather than all the emotions. And the emotions were really high. In the last few days, the emotions were really high, really challenging, really non-compromising. Non Let's just say it this way. And I still shed a tear when I see the social media and people keep sending me and it is horrific. And like four from my high school graduate, which I've graduated 30 or 40 years ago, not 40, not to this, 35 years ago, now the kids, four or five of them were actually at the party and another friend from high school, she says, yeah, they were with my sons here. So it's, it's horrible. However, we must, and, and guess what? Like at least people in my generation, we have all had the Gulf War as well in 91, 1991. So we finished the army going home with a little gas mask because in case Iraq want to blast us and do biological. So it wasn't really simple. So to hear those sirens and even speaking to my sister in Tel Aviv and to hear the siren, I'm like, fuck, it is just way too much. So the nervous system was really, really fried. Um, 
even though that I am safe and I'm in Thailand and I'm doing, see how I improvise? I improvise, I'm a good improviser. The thing is that we need to see how do we change this situation? How do we change this energy? How do we change this perception? How do we help to shift the energy in the world? And to shift the energy in the world is about stepping into your light. And stepping into your light, stepping into your energy, stepping into the higher vibration, then you need to allow yourself to lift, to move, to change, to shift all that stress. So yesterday, literally I forced myself to get out. Um, I said, I'll go for a walk. I'll go to a 7-Eleven and get myself a water bottle, like a larger one. And uh, yes, I am. I'm in Kosamoy. So I walked and I took a whole walk. I did a whole street there. And then I saw Mango Mania restaurant, which I love mango. For those who knows me, I'm a mangoholic. And um, even bought two. Um, anyway, so I was eating there. I made myself like a, not made myself. I got myself like a mango slurpee, blah, blah. And I felt happy because mango makes me happy. <laughs> Simple, right? And then I focused on what makes me happy right here, right now. Because I can't change anything else, can I? No. So what makes me happy right here, right now? How can I be happy and support myself? First of all, support myself, which is that's where I'm starting to talk with you, for you about what is happening. So then there was this girl who was sitting there. She was having her dinner. I was having mine. I don't know how. We just started to talk. Then we've merged the tables. We started to chat. She works at another hotel, management, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Conversation just went through. She, she even drove me back to the hotel. It was just like a great connection because I allowed myself to actually to be open and to chat now never met probably won't see again who knows I allowed myself to be myself and I always laugh because I always say that if my daughter would have been there with me she would tell me mom don't be a weirdo don't talk to strangers and don't talk to people you talk too much and I'm like well that's who I am you'd better just enjoy it because that's what's Loving people do, you know? You don't have to be non. And that led me to today's subject. How do you raise your vibration? Anyway, I booked today the taxi driver from the hotel. Like taxi, and he used to work here, blah, blah. Four hours, we go around the island. I'm like, what will be, will be. I think I saw about... 10, 15 Buddha temples today. And it was so nice. It was so beautiful. It was so loving. And the one thing that I did do, and we went to many, many places. Um, the one thing that we did do, or what I've done in every place, was to release the stress, to release the pain, to let it go and let God. Now, when I go, I'm Jewish by religion, Yet I believe in God as a God ultimate. I don't care what your religion is. And basically, from my point of view, it was about how do we encompass that godly love, which God is love, and how do I encompass it and transmute the pain, transmute the stress, transmute the, the suffering into goodness? So I went to nature, I put my feet in the sea, I walked on the sand, we drove through the mountain, I listened to some music, he didn't have the music, I had my music, he had some Thai talk show, we spoke, I guess what I'm suggesting to you to do, to lift your vibration, to lift your energy, is to connect to the right here, right now, is to connect some people call it mindfulness, okay. So how can you? Can you touch something? Can you smell it? Can you see it? Can you hear it? Can you feel it? The unity needs to start from within. So are you united within yourself? 
People say, stay united, don't be divided. Stay united, don't be divided. The unity has to start within. My only sorrow is that the state of Israel needed to have a war in order to be united again. And once that it is now united, they are strong. So the unity has to come within. So can you write to me if you're not feeling aligned somewhere? And what is not aligned with you? Is it your head, your heart, your feelings, your soul? When I'm doing the soul here, it's basically the back of your heart, which is where the inner child is the access point. So which part of you might not feel as united, as connected? Because unity within is what will lead to unity without. Okay? As soon as you are united within yourself, you can then connect to other united communities, united friends, united... Sometimes you have blood family, you have soul family, you have friends that are like family. Whatever it is, you are working it. You are working it, yet you need to know... I spoke to, to someone and it's like, yeah, when I'll be ready to have my relationship. Yeah, but what do you want? How do you, how do you, how do you express it? Are you allowing yourself to feel? Are you allowing yourself to know what is it that you need? What is it that you want? And what is it that you would like? Okay. Whether it's in relationship or job or social or for yourself, you know. I even said to Buddha in one of the things today, I said, please take care of the Middle East. Please save Israel and the civilians in everywhere that it is. Please catch those terrorists. And help me with my weight chain. I snuck one in for myself. But I usually ask for everyone else. You know. And from my point of view. The way that I see it. The way that I look at it. It starts first with, with unity within. And once that you are united within yourself. Are you okay with. Go to the physical. You know I, I've created the seven sources of self mastery. When you're doing it on the physical. Right. What you eat, how much water do you drink, how are you feeling and what are you functioning with and how are you creating the basic things? Do you sleep enough? Do you breathe enough? Breathing is one of the main things and we're going to practice it in a minute. We're just breathing in and breathing out. That can regulate on its own your nervous system. So how are we doing this? How are we going to create that? Very simple. Very simple. Hello, Marjorie. Hello, Wayne. Hello, A.E. Kinesiology. Um, and Corina, and whomever is here. And Linda, and Jody, and Leah. Can you tell mom to come? So that's the physical, the emotional. As I said two days ago, with the depression or anxiety, it's the state of your spirit. Is it high or is it low? Is it supporting you or not? This is where you need to look at the things. So what does it mean to be together? To be within yourself. How are you going to regulate it? With breathing. Because if you're anxious, you'll be like... <sighs> if you're depressed, you might forget even to breathe. Which you won't, but it's like a little bit different. So when you are incorporating your breathing, that will regulate your nervous system. The way that I've been teaching in the meditation for probably 25 years, is you breathe in, two, three, you hold it, two, three, you breathe out, two, three, and you stay with nothing for three. So let's, let's do it for a second. Would you like to do it? Breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, exhale, three, and nothing. And again, three, three holding and, and nothing. And so you do. And every time that you breathe in, you breathe in the white light. You're holding, exhaling all the stress and the negativity. Funny enough, I think today the digital media guy put the, or Justin, he's not just a guy, he's the guy. He put um, 
the breathing technique on the meditation. So that is very, very united with this. So where do you feel that you have your inner conflicts? Where are they? Do you have inner conflicts? Potentially one or two. Where are they? How are they? Can you write to me? I'm not sure. Just let me know if you're writing because we know what happened last time within the group. If it's working or not. Where do you feel that you're not connected within the energy? Where do you feel that it needs to be shifted or it needs to be moving for you to allow yourself to connect with that? That's the time that you're writing to me. Are you fully balanced? Are you fully connected within your energy, within your vibration? And if you're not, how do you usually deal with that? So, is anyone writing to me anything? Beside, how are you coping? Do you know people who are within it? Self-doubt, someone is writing. Jody. self-doubt take you out of your alignment, 100%. 100%. You see in my book, physically hot. Physically not, Amanda, what do you mean? Open heart more. Yeah. <sighs> Why don't I do with you some breathing that will open all your chakras? Do you like to do that? That is, that is part of a tantra, um, I guess, practice. And... Um, I'm feeling connected and aligned today. Today is a good day. That's good. But what happens when you're not? And where is it when you are not? Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we do that within. Within ourselves. Within our hearts. Within our souls. Okay. So let's take a few deep breaths. Would you like me to, to guide you through? Just say yes or not. If you don't, there's some mosquitoes here. They kind of coming at this time. I'm just practicing clapping hand, okay? No actual killing has happened here. One thing that saved me is water with hydrolite. Because the energy here and it's so... Okay, Sandra is still awake. I'm very impressed. Okay, so. So remember that we have, and I'll put afterwards a little bit. So in one of the temples that were there, there was a, a gong. So of course, you truly can't without hearing some... Of course that I did, but I've done the seven chakras and basically um, I have done seven gongs, once for each one. So why don't we do one within to, the, um, to each chakra? And we will start with the base chakra. Hang on. We'll start with the base chakra. So I want you to picture yourself standing. You can stand now or you can just picture yourself standing. And putting your feet on Mother's Earth, like whether it's the grass or the sand or grounded or, or the sea sand or the mountain, but just standing and grounded. And when you're doing this, you are firming and asking permission to release all your gunk to Mother Earth. Okay, so you're doing this and releasing the gunk to Mother Earth. Remember, we need to increase and to lift the vibration. This is the reason that we're doing this. Once that we are increasing the vibration, once that we are emptying our vessel, we can increase the vibration because there is more room for it. But if it's, if it's filled up, what will I show you here? If it's filled up, this is Barocca and Hydrolite. If it's filled up, I cannot put here now something else, can I? Because that something else will be diluted. It won't be strong. Okay? So this is as simple as that. So now we're going to empty our vessel. We're going to release it. 
And once that we are releasing it, we can purify it and fill it up, fill, fill it up with more energy. This is part of the tantric as well of breathing because it's about lifting and lifting and lifting and lifting. And that's what it is. Okay. Here we go. So now it's going to happen. So I want you to feel yourself standing with your feet on Mother Earth, whether it's physical, emotional, or you're just imagining it. Okay. So you're doing this and... You're, you're asking for permission and you're letting Mother Earth know. Thank you so much for accepting all the gunk that I'm releasing. May it will now fertilize you and gives you more energy. Okay? Mother Earth will accept it with love. For years I used to struggle with that. But it's perfect because that's like manure. So you're giving the manure of your chakras. Okay? So I want you to start. Let's start breathing. While your feet are on the ground, you're breathing in. You're holding. You're replacing the energy. And breathing in in general. Holding. And basically every time that you breathe in, you're breathing white light. Every time that you breathe out, you're letting all the stress, all the stress to come out. Now, let us connect to the base chakra. The base chakra is between your legs. It's a red ball. Hopefully it is red. If not, ask it to become red. This is the one that's responsible for your grounding, for your skeleton, for the blood flow, for your stability and being and grounding and connecting to Mother Earth. So this one is between your legs, literally, and it's turning from left to right, from left to right. So I need you to allow it to go through. And the color red is turning brighter and brighter. Again, breathe in. Ask to clear that specific chakra, the red chakra, the base chakra. It is turning, releasing. You are releasing it to Mother Earth, lifting the energy, allowing it to turn. And as you're moving it, the base chakra is going to continue to turn, continue to turn. Then, while it's still turning, you're moving into the sacral chakra, the orange chakra, just under your belly button. Just under your belly button. This one is turning from right to left. As you're breathing into it, I want you to see what does it look like. How does it look like? Is it orange? Or is it mustardy? Or is it what color? You need that orange to be bright, bright, bright. And you're breathing into it and asking to clear it. This is your intention, to clear it. So as you are clearing it, you're changing, you're asking it, you're holding the energy, you're turning it from right to left, right to left, and you exhale. Breathing in again. If you have a candle or a flame, ask it to go to there. Because that's the fire, it's burning it. You don't want it to be and stay in your room or wherever you are. Okay, so that is the sacral, turning from right to left, responsible for your adrenals, responsible for your immune system, for your fight, flight, and freeze, to where everything sits and starts and go. You're asking it to help you, to clear, to shift, so you'll become the creative that you are, the sexual being that you are, the flowing that you are, okay? See what an orange fire it is? Pretty playful, okay? So this is the sacral chakra. While the base is turning from left to right, the sacral is from right to left. We are creating a little serpent within the energy. We are moving into the um, solar plexus, the color is yellow. 
just in the middle of your stomach area. Color is yellow, turning from left to right. You're breathing into that, asking it to clear and to purify, holding and like every time that you do that, you're washing it with white light, giving it a good scrub, giving it like with a brush and, and, and with a bucket. So you're doing this, you're shifting this, you're moving that. Okay. And then breathing out again and seeing it turning from left to right and it's becoming brighter and brighter yellow. Okay. We're going to have soon a solar eclipse. So we're going to have a sun with a ring on it. That was my water bottle spilling because I got excited here. Um, continue to turn. Continue to turn the solar plexus from left to right. Left to right. Left to right. You can feel your personal power come through. You can feel yourself connecting to the sun. You can still feel yourself becoming more in action, more in doing more in being so keep doing this turn it from left to right left to right left to right then you're moving it to your heart while you keep breathing and now the the bottom three are actually sinking and moving sinking and moving so you have the red you have the orange you have the yellow and it is shifting and shifting and shifting now you're moving to your heart this is the middle point and it has green for healing and pink for love. Green for healing and pink for love. So breathe in to here. Hold, exhale. As you are connected to that, as you are connecting to that and it's turning from where? From right to left, from right to left. As you are shifting and moving this from right to left, you can feel that the love is moving. The hurt that you had is shifting. The healing is occurring. So it's now opening up and allowing you to love. But it has to start with self-love. It has to start with self-love. Despite the difficulties, despite the criticism, despite what everyone told you all the time, whenever it was, it is clearing and it is shifting. So do that. Allow yourself to do this is now from right to left. You're moving to here. Let's breathe to the throat. You don't have to breathe that much, do you? The throat, the blue, turning from left to right. This is about your speech, about the criticism, about the judgment, about your thyroid, about your expression, about your who you are. That's the first thing that you speak. This is connection between your head and your heart. It comes through here. So you're allowing all of this to breathe in. You're allowing this circle to turn and to be filled with light, filled with light. And you're shifting it and you're moving it. And the blue becomes brighter and brighter from left to right, from left to right. And as you're doing it and shifting it, you're going to feel how your expression is going to become lighter and easier and flowing because you will speak your truth from your heart constructed with your head you're speaking through your spirit and through the true energy that needs to go with that anyway moving from the throat to the third eye the third eye color is indigo so now it's like you're breathing up you're energizing your brain it's literally like because as soon as you do this it goes to here and then when you do this and it's turning from right to left, right to left. You're opening up your intuition. You're opening up all the energy, all what you really need to see in the situation. What you really need to see in every situation. Is it really what they're showing us or could there be something else? Is it really what they're showing us or could it be something else? And that's where you're shifting the energy. That's where you are moving and letting go and letting go because you know that you are part with God with that. Okay. So as you're doing this, as you're shifting this, your energy is moving from that indigo 
to the crown. The crown is purple and white. This is your reception of the light from the divine, from the energy, from the joy that is coming through. So as you are doing this, the purple and white are coming through and you're just inviting the universal, the godly, the, the pure energy to come through your crown. So let's do that. And you're accepting it. You're allowing it. Even if you can't see, even if you've never meditated, it doesn't matter. Just ask for this to happen and it will happen in one way or another. Okay. So bring it, see it, allow it to happen. See how it goes for you. Now from here, here's another little gift and trick. From here, you're spilling it into your aura. Okay. So now as you're breathing, stay with me. You're breathing in all the way down to your base. And as you're taking it out, you're taking it through the crown. So all the way to the base and all the way from the crown. If you knew maybe Chinese medicine or kinesiology, you're breathing in from, sorry, you're breathing in from the governing. So because it starts here. So taking it all the way. It's like a, a, a grandpa cane. Okay. All the way to the back of your spine, to your tailbone. Swapping it there. Remember where the base starts and out through your mouth this is the end of the central meridian so this is where it starts and this is where it's finished it's actually here and here exposing my teeth at you but this is where it starts and this is where it ends okay so breathing in all the way exchanging and breathing out from there your body will have no choice beside of balancing itself it will balance itself because this is, you're balancing the two major meridians of the body, the central and the governing. The central is the brain, the governing is all the spine, and the control, and the back, and all of that. Literally your support. Control. This is about control. It's governing. It's controlling. Okay? Do you have any questions so far? Well, hang on. Let me do one last thing. So you're breathing in. Reaching to that spot. Breathing out. And now see it spreading almost like a love heart, but more than that, all around your aura. This is how you expand your aura as well. Okay, so this is how you expand your aura. And this is how you're shifting it. So let's do one more breath, breathing in. Getting to that base point and breathing out. Taking it and moving it into all of your aura. So breathing in through the whole aura and out. Now, if you really want to take it to the next level, you can start to practice your breathing from chakra. So base, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. Then you take one more for your whole aura. For those who just joined us, just allow yourself to repeat it, watch it again. And this is how you're going to refresh your whole energy, your whole aura. And this is basically how I helped myself last night with breathing to get out of that very, 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 very deep hole that I was in. It was deeper than the rabbit hole of Alice in Wonderland. And because my feed of my social media is flooded, flooded with everything that is happening. And it's literally, it's horrific. It's horrific. So, yes. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions so far? Hey, Nicole. Hey, Fiona. Hey, Ash. And Wafa. And Josie. And Stefan. And Megan. Hello, hello. And any questions so far or not thank you so how are we going to shift it now 
you have any questions? Were you able to do it? How did it work for you? And then we'll move to some readings of some cards. See, it's like, it's 5 o'clock, 5.40 here. It's so interesting. I'm actually leaving between the time zones because I'm still tuned into Israel, which is four hours back. And you guys are four hours forward. And we are here in the middle at like the energies. So who needs time and space? You can just be wherever you are, whenever you are. You don't need anything else, really. Serafina, thank you so much for your message today. So I'm, I'm actually very grateful and in gratitude for everything that I'm going through and for the fact that I was um, in tune with the message and the message was all the way um, to go. And because I had six hours in Bangkok, just the, literally the final hour was like, don't, don't. And maybe he chose to do a Virgo with a Taurian horizon, at least I have my, my moon in Libra, that I can be agile, that I can shift things, that I can move things. And it is what it is. And lucky I was going to, to do a desert retreat. So I had I have some appropriate clothes and some not because it's so lovely and hot here that I'm just going with the flow. Any questions, anyone? Any questions? If you don't have any question, so Insta or Facebook? Insta or Facebook? Oh, Privet, Miss Belova. Now you're joining us, right? Some of us are in Bali, some of us are in Thailand, some of us are in Melbourne. Yes, please. Well, that will be Facebook. Facebook, you were first. Okay. So, I'm giving you the reading from my deck of cards from Survive to Thrive. Who is awake and still wants a card? So, wouldn't that be the best gift? Get it. I'll just pull you cards, Ksenia. I'll just pull you cards. All right, so now this is where everyone are awake. Doom, 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 doom. Who wants a card? Who wants a card? First time, second time, and we are going. So we are starting with Facebook. So dear Insta people, just um, wait for a second. Do you have any questions about this meditation or about what we've done? The unity within. The unity has to start within before it can go anywhere else, okay? And that's where we are shifting and moving things to that level so just write yeah yes please and you'll get it ah. cards are flying yes furious i now understand that anger hurts me and now choose to let it go and replace it with love because you know three minutes of anger debilitates your immune system for eight hours okay Oslam is asking for herself, Habib. And by the way, I've done... Did I say it to you already? I've done the, the test for 23andI, the genetics. If anyone will have anything to say, I'm 99.8% Arab. Genetically. From Egypt... Mediterranean, Levantine, well, Queen Nefertiti, no? But Peninsula, my parents are from Yemen. So no one, but no one can say that I dislike Arabs. No one. If we're even ever talking about it, genetically, 99.8. So this is just for the record. I dislike terrorists no matter where they're from. This is, again, to the point, because I will not be quiet on that. I will not be quiet on that. I will not. I will not. But I will not strengthen them as well. So again, all we can focus is to amplify the love. Amplify the love to fuck off the dark. 
and the pain and the fear and the illusion stay within the love take care of your energy it will be so contagious it will be so contagious that people will actually connect to that okay so let us start Janine, are you still here? You didn't say anything. You're too quiet there. Lucy, you're the first. And I will say to whomever. You know that I will. Lucy, you're the first. Your card is fulfilled. Your card is fulfilled. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. I'm now 100% willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. Francis, your card. Francis, your card is shine optimistic. Shine optimistic. I'm optimistic and now willing, ready, and able to glow and shine my light into the world. Amazing. Okay, who else is there? Fiona, I'm not sure if you're still here. Here's your card. Fiona, worthy. I'm now worthy of love and all the good in the world. I'm now worthy of love and all the good in the world. Okay, carry your card. Whoop, he jumped. Carry your card is security. Your card is security. I am now secure on all levels and dimension. I am now secure on all levels and dimensions. Uh, Robin, your card. Robin, purposeful. I am now willing, ready and able to act upon my true calling and my clear purpose. I am now willing, ready and able to act upon my true calling and my clear purpose. Brilliant. Okay, I mean, a card for you, Hobby. I mean, your card is joy. I am now willing, ready, and able to have and be the joy in my life. To have and be the joy in my life. Oslem will get hers from Instagram. Kelly, your card. Kelly, your card is timid. Your card is timid. I am now safe and secure. Remember that. I am now safe and secure. Stay. I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Georgina, would you like a card? Oh, a card for me. Thank you. The card for me is strengthening and free. Strengthening and free. The war is over and I am now free. The war is over and I am now free. Okay. That means that I can actually do stuff because I was debilitated. Literally debilitated. Good, Fiona. I'm glad. Yes. Um... Natalie, the card for you is, Natalie, you are processing. My processing methods are fast and accurate. My brain is now enjoying this freedom. I hope that you're feeling better. When I'll come back, please God, I will do it. And I am coming back a few days earlier, so I will be able to see some more and help some more. Anyone else here that I still didn't read? Now let's see who is here. Who would like a card from here? Dum, da, da, dum, dum, dum. What, what, what? Thank you, Stefan. Um, Penny, you're the first one. Which one wants to come? Penny, empowerment is your card. It's on your birthday, Fiona, empowerment. All the Scorpies. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. I am now willing, ready, and able to empower myself and others. Ksenia, are you still here? If you are, the card for you, Ksenia, is revive balance. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. I am now willing, ready, and able to grow. Chris, your card is Feeling a little bit inadequate, I am now willing, ready, and able to explore my personality in a loving way. To explore my personality in a loving way. Anna Bloms, your card is 
integrity and clarity integrity and clarity you're welcome i am now willing ready and able to be truthful to myself and others my heart is open and clear my heart is open and clear okay who else oslem the card for you is are you a little bit scattered are you feeling all over the shop i now collect all my scattered pieces and move into clarity i am united within myself i am united within myself it is very good it's exactly oz listen to the meditation afterwards and see where it is mel your card is the long ging it's the jumping card belonging i now belong i no longer long for love i am love i remember i wrote it i wrote all of them by the way um i now belong i no longer long for love i am love perfect vanessa vanessa wants a card vanessa the card for you is depressed yet determined depressed and determined i am now willing ready and able to do my absolute best at any given moment and you know even though that you know i teach and i do i fall i'm still human so i apologize if i ever hurt you or harmed you or said not nice thing i'm still human and i own that okay so please you don't always have to get things right and that's where it says explore it with with niceness you don't have to be so harsh on yourself okay who else wants a card um seraphina card for you nourishment seraphina i am now willing ready and able to move my body eat healthy nourishing foods and be hydrated i am now willing ready and able to move my body eat healthy nourishing foods and be hydrated and you know i didn't do much movement here but i just booked my personal trainer and they have a gym here we're just going to do a zoom one not a zoom just even a live because if i won't have it in the right way i won't do it is it a shame to to ruin good job that i'm doing okay so take care of yourself take care of your physical body don't do too much there tgm tez what is the code name tg m tez melancholy i now choose to lift my sadness and fill myself with joy and i choose to lift my sadness and fill myself with joy it's a pleasure sonia would you like a card sonia card for you is depriving replenish i am now willing ready and able to nurture myself and shine my light i am now willing ready and able to nurture myself and shine my light all right landel of which okay let's see lana del love which maybe yes let's see have you felt a little bit hopeless i now choose to trust i now choose to trust even if i can't see it there is hope i am hopeful even if i can't see it there is hope i am hopeful anyone else did i miss anyone well sandra was the first one the sandra it's self-acceptance i am now willing ready and able to accept myself and others ines who's probably fell asleep from my voice you see i hear all those things later ines Ines, success. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways to success. I have the magic touch. Where is Amanda? Amanda, are you here? Because she was here at the beginning. Abundance to Amanda. See, what do I have to milk it from you? Abundance. I am now proud of my achievements and full of gratitude for my wonderful life. Abundance is everywhere. Okay. And then we do Amy. Amy. Amy's a little bit burdened. I now let go of the heavy burden. I feel light and free. I haven't seen Janine. Maybe she dropped off. Is there anyone else who didn't get a card? Anyone else who didn't get a card and wants a card? Just if they didn't. Yes, you will. You're welcome. 
Okay, so Janine is cooling down. I no longer feel overly hot and my body temperature is perfect. I'm now cool, calm and collected. <clears throat> and for Pete, happiness. For Pete is happiness. I'm now willing, ready and able to have happiness in my life. I am happiness. That was epic. Just another one, embrace. That's for everyone. Embrace. I am now willing, ready and able to embrace. This is exactly what we spoke about, unity. You see how it always summarizes it so perfectly? I am now willing, ready and able to embrace my mind, thoughts and feelings into all positive expressions. Okay? I am now willing, ready and able to embrace my mind, thoughts and feelings into all positive expression. And this is how I told you, with the unity. So you do the unity and this is like perfection. Ilana, want a card? Let's do a last card for Ilana. Ilana, your card is ultimate love. I am now willing, ready and able to create new pathways of love, joy and happiness. I think I pulled a card for myself, but I don't know. I no longer feel trapped. I'm now free to shine my light. It was trapped. I wasn't happy to do, but I am now. So, what do you reckon? Did I just go there without any guilt? Just have the nicest time? I need to do so much stuff if I, if I will allow myself, right? Anyway, do you have any questions or anything? Danielle, I'm not sure who you are, but the card for you is brave and reconnect to life. I am now willing, ready and able to step out of my comfort zone. It is safe for me to reconnect to life. Okay, again, I'm reading all them from my deck of cards from Survive to Thrive that clearly travels the world with me by yours truly. Any questions? Anything? Anything, anything, anything? Well... I'm wishing you all the best. Um, I won't actually be able to do the live next week at the regular time because I'll be flying. Um, I'll be flying back to Melbourne, so I won't be able to do that. However, we can do that perhaps on the Wednesday for that matter. But if not, we'll just skip one week. It's all right. I'll give you little lives on the way. Okay, sending you so much love and light. I'm not sure still what are those lights, but bring it on. <sighs> Maybe something is working, right? The energies are shifting. So breathe in, unity, success, love, happiness. Fuck the fear and just spread the light. Okay? It is what it is. Be well.